Welcome back to Tada 3D Printing. So I found this low poly gummy bear on printables by MakerWiz. I just got a regular bag of gummy bears in with my Prusa XL. I did not get a giant bag or giant bears. So I decided that I am going to print the largest size gummy bear that I possibly can. I downloaded it and opened it on the Prusa Slicer with just 100% scale. I'm going to print a test bear that size first. I swap it to the 0.32 speed profile and drop the infill down from 20% to 10%. And then I'm gonna change the infill pattern from the default grid to lightning. I feel like that's been working really well with large prints, prints very quickly, and I have not had issues with it so far. Looks like this will take about an hour and a half. And the filament that I wanna to try today is Emollient. This one is a glow-in-the-dark multicolor in PLA, and it just looks pretty much clear um, from this point. It is multicolor, but it is just looking clear as it's not glowing quite yet. It says multicolor in 10M, so I'm assuming that means it shifts every 10 meters, but we'll see. I get this filament loaded, and this is the little snip that I took off at the very end, and you can see it it's not perfectly clear, but it is kind of translucent. You can see through it a little bit. And this is the picture from the listing with the different colors when it's glowing. On a previous print when I had just PLA clear, my filament sensor had a hard time noticing that there was filament and it kept trying to change the filament. It was pausing a lot. So I went ahead and turned the filament sensor off on that print and that worked. So I went ahead and kept it off for this. I didn't want to have anything, any pauses. I just wanted it to print clear through. Okay, so it printed pretty well. When I pick it up, it is extremely lightweight, like surprisingly lightweight. In fact, you can kind of hear it how hollow it is. The underside of both the arms and the feet look like it's a little bit brown. I don't know if maybe the filament just burned a little bit, if that's a temperature thing, or maybe it just wasn't clean enough. The back looks really flat, and at first I was thinking maybe I could have printed it on its back, but there is still a little bit of dimension there, and it really wouldn't have helped me to print it on its back. I can't see a ton of the infill, the lightning, so I feel like overall it printed pretty good. I'm just gonna clean the nozzle and make sure that there's no issues with that. So now, of course, it's a glow-in-the-dark filament, so let's see if it actually glows in the dark. I turn the lights off to the room and then realize that the XL also has lights on that as well, so I go ahead and just turn that off. I can see that it's glowing, but the camera isn't picking it up. So I switched to photo instead and do night mode and you can see it now glowing. There is a slight shift in the color and it looks really cool. Back in Prusa Slicer, I want to scale this up to see how large I can make it. But I key in the 14 inches on the wrong side. So this is way too big. I didn't realize that I should have done that on the Z. So I make that change. And after aligning it, it bumps it to just kind of the front nine squares on the bed. All the other settings are the same, so this is going to take a little bit under 11 hours to print it. I get this started and go to bed and don't look at it again. And you can see that it's kind of not smooth on that first layer. And there was even a, little, a couple of crash detections where it recovered and kept going. But it finally pauses itself, and this is what I see the next morning. It did detect the collision and it's saying I could resume, but I'd rather start over. I had remembered that the small gummy bear was not completely flat on the bottom, so I went back into Slicer. And with it scaled up as much as it is, that's the issue, is that it's not completely flat. So I'm going to go ahead and slice the bottom of it off just so that it's perfectly flat on the bottom. I didn't quite slice enough off the first time, so I have to do this twice. And then finally, it looks good. I don't make any other changes, just go ahead and slice it, and it's gonna be about 10 and a half hours now. I get this printing, and I do watch it for a little while, and it does just fine. I checked on it a couple times in the middle, and that lightning infill is just, still trips me out. I feel like it's too empty, but it looks really cool, and I feel like I'm saving a lot of filament by not having a complete grid all the way through. It's just starting right above those arms. Also, I'm not noticing any of those brown spots. I didn't change the temperature. I just cleaned the outside of my nozzle a little bit. And here on the top of the head, you can see a little bit more of the lightning as it's starting to come in right 
as we get to the end of this print. And the print finishes pretty quickly after that. Again, I am shocked at how lightweight this is. I feel like I almost knock it over. And I actually like the details on this size even more. I feel like the poly looks so cool on the face. Um, the details look great. You know, this is 0.32 layer height with a 0.6 nozzle. So I feel like it's looking amazing. Even on the underside of these arms and the neck, I'm, I'm really impressed that there's no sagging. It looks really smooth. There's not a seam that you're seeing either. And I mean, this is a pretty clear filament, so I'm surprised I'm not seeing a seam. It looks really good. It's such a large print that it's kind of hard to even get it completely on the screen, but that's not a bad problem. And here is the original size. They look great together. I am looking at it and I did notice that the top is not as smooth as I would have thought. Um, you can see a little bit of the infill just because it's clear. You're seeing the infill come through, but the actual layers are pretty good. Um, yeah, you can see them a little bit there on the, the top of the head and the top of the arms. I decided I wanted to weigh them just because these are such big prints and they feel so lightweight. So the giant size is 14.1 ounces, so it's under a pound for that gigantic size, 14 inches tall, and then the small one is under two ounces. I try again to record them in the glow in the dark and I cannot get my camera to pick it up, so I took some more stills. I can't really tell if the color change is from the filament or if that's maybe more of a shadow. It's kind of hard to tell where it's that darker blue. But maybe it is the filament because the littler one doesn't have the same banding in the same spots. I also took a picture of the filament glowing and I don't see the banding like it showed on the original listing, but it still looks really cool. So let me know your thoughts on this giant glow-in-the-dark gummy bear. Thanks for watching.